Hello there! Did you ever want to create your own Chrome extension? Then you're in the right place. In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process on how to create an extension. And we will do it with the example of a simple calculator extension. So, set up your dev environment and let's get started. To develop our very own extension, we will use the Chrome extension CLI to set up our project for us. For that, we will first install it by running pnpm install. And after that, we will use it to set up the extension. When it is set up, we will open it in our editor and run the dev mode. Now that we have the basic setup ready, we need to install it in our browser running the following steps. We first open Chrome extensions, then we enable the developer mode and load the unpacked extension from the build directory. When this is done, we have to stick the extension to the bar and then we can easily use it by clicking on it. With the groundwork laid out, let's dive into the exciting part, building the application. For that, we open up public popup.html. In here, we will first set some styling. And for that, I will use pico.css. That's my favorite CSS framework for all my blog projects. Besides Pico, we will also edit the popup.css file to only determine the size of the popup and nothing else anymore. Then we add the HTML itself by creating form with a text field and a result paragraph. As you can see, we created them all with an ID, which will be important for the logic in the next step. But before we implement the logic, we install the package map.js and then we open the JavaScript file. In here, we first import map.js and get the different HTML elements with their defined IDs. Then we create an onSubmit function for the form to execute the calculate function the calculate function will be created later on. Then we add an onClick event for usability that selects all the text in the input field so that the user can easily remove all the text. Lastly, we then create the calculate function. It just reads the text from the input field, runs a math.js function to evaluate the results and then writes the result into the result paragraph. Before we can look at the current version, we have to import the CSS in the JavaScript file and then change the order of CSS files in the head. And we will also move the result paragraph into the container. With that, we have a working Chrome extension that can calculate math equations. Sadly, it does not remember what was written when we tap out of it. So now we will use the Chrome extension API to change that. For that, we first have to check that the manifest.json has the storage permission enabled. As you can see, the CLI did that for us already. So we can basically just start using it. For that, we will first change the calculate function to save the result by executing the following set function. Here we set both the equation and the result to be stored. Besides saving it, we also need to load it. For that, we will create an anonymous function that executes on load. The function then reads the stored data and writes it to the element. So now we can see that both the equation and the result are persisted. Good job! With that, you created your first Chrome extension. If you liked this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.
in the next video we will do the same with SvelteKit and in the one after that we will have a look on how to publish a Chrome extension. So thank you for watching and until then.